2014-134 State of Arkansas versus David Corbin. You know, the status of Mr. Corbin's case uh, is that he needs to be brought back uh, for the afternoon session. There's been a plea offer made by Mr. Kincaid. He is considering that plea offer and uh, uh, we will either plead him out or uh, set him over to well, he's on a scheduling order already, Judge. That's why I was going to check to see where we are. I thought we had one. Yeah, we did. Currently, it's set for jury trial December 1st and 2nd, pretrial October 23rd, and a reappearance on September 25th. So if it doesn't resolve itself, that, that will be the order that will be in effect. All right. Defendant may be excused. 2014-164, State of Arkansas. Uh, versus Jeremy Duncan. Mr. Duncan, you're appearing here. Is this a change of plea as well? Your Honor, it's going to be a change of plea. He needs to fill out his uh, plea statement. Oh. Uh, he can be excused and we can either recall him. Okay, so let's we'll just put it here and recall him here in a minute. Yes. 2014-170, State of Arkansas versus Charles Dickerson. Your Honor, I think this is the same posture that he was arraigned in front of Judge Putman recently in order to appear in front of you today. Right. Very well. The court is setting it by, by written scheduling order for jury trial uh, December uh, 12, 2015. It'll be set for a pretrial date November 29th and a reappearance status uh, date of October 23rd of 2014. The, um, there'll be a written, this written scheduling order will include other dates, but those are the key dates. And, and uh, we'll, we'll move it forward. Um, it's the issue of bond again, the bond in this case is set at $50,000. I don't see, now let me check. I don't see any lowering of the bond indicating in this matter. Your Honor, it's my understanding it's still at $50,000. Uh, Your Honor, Mr. Dickerson uh, is a, a gentleman who's 54 years old. He's a lifelong resident of this county. He uh, has a permanent residence at 28 Fan Leaf Lane in Norfolk. Uh, he's uh, uh, on disability and um, Certainly, Your Honor, he would not appear to be any sort of a flight risk. I, I believe his only criminal history would be a possible conviction of well past 10 years ago. Judge, this is involves the violence with the firearms. And the indication is his previous conviction, at least in the information, his previous conviction was a battery with a firearm. Is that correct? The judge ask you what your previous conviction was for. The one rat drugs a long time ago. I couldn't understand. He said drugs a long time ago, <coughs> which is what he related I, to me. I may be misreading the, the affidavit. I mean, the the information then. My notes reflect a methamphetamine conviction of approximately 15 years ago, Your Honor. I see. Very well. What says the state with regard to any kind of bond reduction? Judge, about a year ago, a felon in possession of firearm charge was reduced for this defendant to a misdemeanor. Possession of instrument of crime. He's a convicted felon. He has guns. Now he's used a gun. I think the bond's appropriate where it is. Uh, he, I, I think there are drugs and alcohol involved, and uh, he doesn't need to possess a gun, let alone be taking a gun and shooting people. Self-defense. This is the second time he's done it. He, Enter, he, a gun. Enter, he has a misdemeanor conviction uh, of approximately a year ago. 
a twenty-five thousand dollar bond, a twenty thousand dollar bond, uh, and him living in in Norfolk at the address I gave the court under strict conditions that he cannot possess any sort of firearms. The usual conditions from the court about no alcohol, no drugs, etc., uh, would in ensure the safety of of this community. Um, I think, Your Honor, a reduction uh, in that twenty to twenty-five thousand dollar level is uh, secures the state and uh, and and hopefully could get this gentleman out. Now, I, re I realize getting out or not getting out is not a condition that the court considers in granting a bond. He's not shown an inclination to follow the law over the past couple of years. Well, Judge, he's got a misdemeanor. A lot of people have misdemeanors. It was for possession of a firearm. And I'll confess the state should not have reduced it, but we did. Based on reading the affidavit and the, and the facts of the case, the, the court's concern is the is the danger or risk of, of reoffending? Uh, this is a, apparently some sort of family dispute. Uh, the, the, and the circumstances of it are such that the court is concerned uh, that it's an ongoing defense offense, and uh, uh, I, the court finds that the uh, that it's an ongoing dispute that could lead to uh, uh, a high probability of reoffending. Uh, and, and I'm not, I'm not as concerned about running off as I am about that the defendant would be subject to, to reoffending uh, on that uh, and poses a danger uh, of doing that. And on that basis, the court's going to leave the, the bond where it is at $50,000. That'll be the decision of the court. Thank you, Your Honor.